121-22, you Netflix lovers. I love Netflix. I actually use it every day. But when we said that Netflix was the biggest pump and dump in the United States history of America, we shorted it there at 700 down $128 today. And for all of these big investors trying to defend the stock, no way. Uh-uh. This is, as I have said, I said it, it's on our website. I said 2022 market volatility before January started is going to eat you up and toss you up. Oh, yeah. And this is a trader's market. I'll say it again. You don't want to listen. You don't get signed up here. Come back. That is, if you even have any money left. Yeah. You haven't seen nothing yet of what's coming in 2022. And you haven't. And not only that, we are in bear market territory on the NASDAQ comp and the NASDAQ 100. And that bear market, which we haven't seen forever, is here. Just like I said it was going to be here. And Netflix has a little pop. They always do. And whatnot. The low hit 379.99. Today's high from the gap down. Gap down 108 points. Then sold down to 379. And I'm telling you, there is no reason to own Netflix. Netflix dropped like a rock. We had plenty of people that are in our trader network that was actually short Netflix. For the right reasons. Pump and dump. Let me tell you about the U.S. stock market, everybody. This is the most overvalued bubble market I have ever seen in 35 years. Multiples, the tech wreck. Oh, yeah. Uh, they all sucked you in, didn't they? Well, there's a lot more downside coming. And the volatility will get bigger. You'll have pops off of the lows to sell. And people that own stocks have a chance to sell them. They never do because they never get enough pain. Pain. Yeah, you heard me, man. But somebody's making money on the other side of your pain. And that happens to be us. You make money when they drop like a rock. U.S. stock market, Dow Jones is about 5,000 points overvalued. Um, I can just say this, and I said it before the year started. January effect. You went into a bear market in January in the NASDAQ comp. That means that your little goofball stuff that happened over the last two years, as I said, that's gone. And these stocks will not see these highs for many years to come. You're fighting the wrong battle. You're fighting an overvaluation battle. And you're going to get taken down by trying to buy high dollar value stocks. You haven't learned enough yet, obviously. But I can tell you one thing beyond a reasonable doubt. It was all documented. Spend a few days going through everything here. You were told it was going to get taken down. Yes, you were, and you ignored it. Why? Because you didn't think it would happen. Well, you know what? It's going to happen a lot more, and a lot more, and a lot more. And you have the opportunity to go ahead and join us, get the live trades, get the live risk management. You don't have to be on the losing side. You could be on the winning side, but you chose not to be. And you know what? I could give a damn if you come here or not. Because that house of pain is here to stay in 2022. Whatever little rallies you get will fade and go right back down. You have a lot more to go because stocks are overvalued. Even Netflix at 379 is still $150 overvalued. The Googles are overvalued. The Tesla, the worst one in the whole world. That's $500 overvalued. Hey, I'm just telling you, you don't believe it now? I put it up before it happens, not after it happens. No, not afterwards, okay? And when I say there's, 
you're always going to get a balance. And you will. And you'll have brief 10-day rallies or whatever. But they will fade and they will go back. And we are going to really get into the bulk of the earnings. And let me tell you something else. Anybody to buy Netflix stock has got to be a damn nut. <laughs>